Diary, good evening. It's the beginning of November 2024. I'd like to talk to you about backup and in particular what I would call bare metal backup. And in this case, it's of a Windows computer system. Now, first of all, we're going to journey into the world of Apple and we're going to talk about cloud and we're going to talk about the background to this problem. And this is going to apply to you if you're just an individual sitting at home with one computer, but it's also going to be a question about if you have a set of computers, how would I back those computers up so that in the event of a total calamity with one or more of those computers, I can get that system exactly back. So, first of all, I know we're talking about Windows 11 backup predominantly, but I'm, or Windows 10 or 11 backup. But first of all, I want to explain to you how Apple Time Machine works, because that's a very good product in terms of trying to understand the way that backup is going, both in Apple and Microsoft. So here we go. So we've got an Apple computer. By the way, the production value is not great on this because I'm making this video in a rush and you're gonna to have to live with it. <laughs> so just look at what I'm saying and, uh, and drawing and forget about the crappy, crappy quality. Here we have an Apple computer, it's running Mac OS. And there's something inbuilt in macOS, it's free with Apple computers called the Time Machine. Time Machine. And what is that? Well, it is the ability to attach an external, I would say, USB connected hard drive. So that's a USB connection. This is a hard drive. Right? And it's going to uh, take over that hard drive. And you're going to connect it to your Mac computer and you're going to say, when you, when you plug it in, it's in, it says, do you want to make it a uh, time machine backup drive? You say yes. And then <clears throat> what it does, the default is hourly. I think you can also make it daily or weekly. But there's a program that sits on the Mac OS uh, machine and every hourly, daily, weekly looks at all the changes and backs them up here. So the default setting is hourly. So literally every hour, it looks at all the changes since you last did the hourly backup and writes them to this hard drive. So what happens if you have a catastrophe? Well, this is what happens. You've got, um, I know you can't take the hard drive out of Apple computers, don't get me started, but let's supposing you somehow reformatted the disk or you had a new disk put in, somehow. So in that case, you've got a Mac computer with an empty hard drive, it's empty. How do you get your system back, given that you've made this backup, which was being made hourly? Well, you connect your Mac to the internet, internet, fluffy cloud, and you download uh, and install the last release of the operating system from the interweb. So it'll boot up with that download, install macOS onto this computer, and at the end of the installation, it's going to say, oh, I'm going to run something called Migration Assistant. And it's going to say, oh, have you got a Time Machine backup? And the answer is, yes, I have. Oh, plug it in. And then it says, as a menu comes up saying, would you like to restore the applications, the data, etc., etc." So you tick all those boxes and then you say go. And then it brings all that back onto this machine. So that's how Apple is going. How does the Windows world work at the moment and it doesn't work anywhere as near as, as well as this so in fact this video is getting so long and let's talk about the apple system let's talk about the um, microsoft system so with microsoft what's happening now is you've got a windows computer windows 11 computer and if you go to the backup settings it used to give you the option of a, a system image which would write an image to an external drive, but now <clears throat> it's difficult to find. That's in fact still there, and I will show you that in the next video. But actually, <clears throat> what it says now is back your data and other items up to OneDrive. So it says it looks at we on a, on a Windows system. You've got your apps in such win, uh, such Windows, for example. Uh, in such, sorry. You've got, app, you've got the system apps in Windows system, you've got your, your programs in slash program files, um, and you've got your data inside the documents directory. But if you use the OneDrive cloud service, what happens, it makes a few links, and basically the documents, documents get backed up in the OneDrive cloud. 
So as far as I can see, what Microsoft wants you to do, at least in the consumer space, is when you have a terrible accident with your system and you need to completely recover the system, it's back to pull your documents to the cloud. If you've installed your apps via the App Store, it knows what apps you've installed. So the apps via App Store. So then, when you want to recover your system, you can reinstall the system from the, from the uh, download. Well, you go to a media creation, on another system, you go to a media creation tool, you create a bootable USB, you'll install, you'll re so you've had a crash, what do you do? You've had a crash, so you go to another Windows system, you use the media creation tool to create a bootable USB. You put the USB into that computer, and it will completely reinstall uh, uh, Windows. And then uh, it, you log in via your Microsoft ID and, the, and then it knows what apps you've got installed. So then it installs the apps. And then you can restore the documents from OneDrive. Well, they're already in the cloud and OneDrive will automatically sync them back down to your PC. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a install Windows Uh, log in, log in with their cloud ID. That's going to install the apps. And thirdly, your OneDrive will sync, sync your data. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this isn't what I want to do, because I've got a situation, maybe you've got a situation, where you haven't installed everything from the App Store. In fact, most Windows people have installed maybe a few apps from the App Store, but typically you will have downloaded some program, you have installed it into slash program files, and if you go through this procedure, it doesn't get restored. So your restored system looks nothing like the system that you've just lost. So what you actually want to do is, on a Windows system, you want to connect an external hard drive, and you want it to back up the EFI partition and the Windows partition, and maybe one of the partition. You want to make an image effectively of the drive that's in here and save it on this disk. And then what you want to do, if you have a total calamity, is you want to say boot from the Windows media, so you would create a Windows a bootable USB stick, use, you create a bootable USB operating system using a media creation tool. You'll boot from the USB. Instead of installing a fresh copy of Windows, you'll say recover and you will go to the restore option which I can never find but I will show you and from that option you will choose the backup that you see on this drive you'll press go and it will wipe this whole machine and recover from this backup so that's going to wipe and restore all files and partitions and that's what you want it to do. Now, it would be nice if you've got, say, three, let me in a home with, say, three or four PCs. I mean, I, I'm doing this for a charity, and we've got at least five or six of these laptops. So ideally, I would like, is I'd like to be able to plug in this USB drive and have five or six different um, Windows uh, images on that USB key, which I don't think I can have, unfortunately. Um, so I'm a bit screwed in that extent and so for each system it looks like I'm going to have to buy a USB key and, and label it accordingly and with that label that so that label will say the host name of the machine which I've backed up and then if there's a calamity I'll be creating a bootable I will have already created a bootable USB key and I'll put that into the system I'll get to the point which says restore, I'll find the USB key that contains the full system's image backup, and I'll restore. So it's not following the new world order, which is via this system, because on a Windows system, many of your apps are not from the App Store. If all your apps were from the App Store, then this would kind of work. But on a Windows system, I'm downloading all sorts of things which are just not available in the App Store, and that's because developers choose not to put them in the App Store. 
and in the Apple world, that's not the case because in the Apple world these days, they are forcing you to write apps in the App Store. And in the Apple world, um, you can recover a system. And if you know what apps you've got in the App Store, you could potentially do the Windows thing very much more easily. So this Windows thing. Uh, but in fact, in the Apple world, you can use Time Machine to create a local backup. Okay. So, we are going to show you some examples of all of this. And uh, I'm actually going to wipe out this machine and recover it. And you're going to see the actual recovery because a lot of uh, YouTubers I have seen doing a backup from within Windows and then they don't show the recovery. And the recovery is the important bit because that's the bit when your system crashes, you're going to need to know how do I recover my system. So there will be another video or two.